stadium, and there's going to be a good crowd here tonight as the Bulls and the San Antonio Spurs will tangle with each other. You heard Red just a few moments ago sizing up the way this game looks. And the Bulls have improved in so many areas, and they've done so in a hurry. Let's go right now to Tommy Edwards for the introduction of the starting line. Spurs, the visiting San Antonio Spurs. And guard, 6'4", from Arkansas. Seven feet two, Caldwell Jones, seven feet two inch height advantage to the Spurs. 
as uh, we get ready for the jump ball. And the Spurs got both games, both in San Antonio and here in Chicago, a year ago. And this is meeting number 22 between these two teams. The Spurs have had a very, very good basketball team for several years. And because of that, they have dominated the series to date. So we're getting ready to play ball here. The Spurs are in the dark visiting uniforms. Bulls in their home light. Tip, they'll redo it. Looks like that was stolen just a little bit. Not thrown quite high enough. Here's the story. Both of these teams, well, you wonder why they're scoring? I'd say those numbers tell you right there. Tapped out of the circle. Finally picked up by Gilmore. He could not touch it with a foot in the circle. And the Spurs will have it for the first thrust of the basket. Thanks, so let's go a shot. This is right off the bat. Caldwell Jones, fighting hard, was able to get the defensive board. And the Bulls strike down the court. Watley, Woolridge, he'll fire. This is Jordan trying to keep it alive. Does so to Woolridge as he... Uh, Jordan managed to tip it away from Artis Gilmore. There's Woolridge. He's covered by Banks. They should have a nice match up there if they can post it a little bit. Jordan will take the shot over more. Nope. Fight for the board. Caldwell Jones with a hook. And the Bulls are on the board. Well, we saw the forwards do most of the shooting, and then Michael Jordan came up with a little 15 foot pop, missed it. Nice rebound by Caldwell. San Antonio on the forward court. Mitchell posted up, missed on the shot. It's tipped out. The Bulls have it. Jones tipped it out to Jordan. Down the lane, all the way. That's Kenny Portland. Well, he's got him standing in the aisles already. There he comes now. Billy Batson, he turns it on, and he becomes Captain Marvel. Slides down the lane, around, banks it in, and draws the foul. Captain Marvel. Gervin gets the foul. It's his first, and Jordan will try for the three-point play. It's there. And the Bulls will go five lead right out of the gate. They've gotten on top in this game. And the Spurs still looking for their first two points. We're minute old here from the stadium. Moore deals off. Banks swinging through with a kind of an off-balance hook shot. And Jordan bringing it down the floor, driving, passes behind his back. Woolridge was not anticipating it. And he bounced the ball off of Gervin's foot. The Bulls have it out of bounds. Good play. Heads up play. That's how Michael wanted to create something down the middle. He just laid the ball off to Orlando and a little hassle for the ball, but out of bounds. Coach Kevin Larkin, I'm sure, had to be pleased with the kind of hustle that he saw right there. Jordan with a miss. Rebound to Banks. And the Spurs in the fourth court. Jordan is covering Johnny Moore, the point guard. Head fake Mitchell. He walked. He walked with it. Artis a little upset. He says, hold on. Let me get it down in low. Let me try something low. And, of course, he's leading the NBA in field goal percentage. That's why their percentage is so high as a team. Yeah, because Gilmar hardly ever misses. He always gets it down in their deep where he can really overpower a lot of his opponents. Jordan, low feet, Steve Johnson, hooks it up over Gilmar, hooks it in! Well, if you remember last year, we got uh, uh, Steve Johnson to play against Artis that first game. Remember the great game he had last year, yeah. Johnson? You're right. He caused all kinds of problems for Gilmar and had a lot of trouble handling him. Couldn't stop that hook shot. Quick hands by Watley, almost tore the ball away. Here's the power move of Gilmar. And as he was trying to get loose in there, he drew heavy traffic and a foul. And this one goes to goal uh, center Caldwell Jones. That's his first and the team's first. Well, the Bulls were reviewing uh, during their shoot-around uh, the plays that would be run by the Spurs, and that was one of them. Artists will take that ball, go to the middle, put it down. If he loses control, he'll fake and then try to dive back in the middle. He did that that time, and Caldwell Jones picked up foul number one for the Bulls. Artists still are shooting over 80% from the foul line. Missed that first one. That's the numbers on it. Boy, that's a great free throw percentage for a big guy. And, of course, uh, he's been around this league a long time now. This is his 14th year in the NBA. Spurs are finally on the board. It took two minutes and two seconds to put a point on the scoreboard. Bulls in the four-court. Watley. Caldwell Jones. The hand back to Watley. Ball driving the baseline. Irvin spinning in on him. Offensive foul called on Watley, and the ball goes over. So the San Antonio Spurs get it back to move the length of the court. More with the inbound pass and Watley puts pressure on. And a little screen releases that pressure. And the the banks. Bulls recover defensively. They have a double team down there. Mitchell, look out! Gervin's open! George Gervin was able to put it in while in the air. All in one fluid move. Here's a nice move. And uh, Jordan missed on it, but it was followed in by Steve Johnson. Steve Johnson has four. The Bulls working the offense. Boards, and they have a six point nine to three lead. And tied on is going to be taken by the San Antonio Spurs coach, Captain Ben Simmons. Does not like what he sees.
overseas. Time out on the floor. We'll be back in Chicago in a minute. To the designers of the new Dodge Stratus, performance isn't just how a car handles, but what it handles. So along with a rigid frame and modified double wishbone suspension for control, they also developed the biggest trunk in its class. So Stratus isn't just a great driver's car, it's a great packer's car. New Dodge Stratus. It's full of answers. Well, the Bulls are off to another good start, and we'll remind you the broadcast rights of this game have been granted to Sports Vision by the Chicago Bulls, solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. And any reproduction or the use of this program without the express written consent of Sports Vision is strictly prohibited. Bill Hazen, back with Johnny Kerr. We're floorside here, center court at Chicago Stadium. With the Bulls and the San Antonio Spurs. One-on-one, -on -one, look at Kerr and Jordan. Yeah, he feeds it in to medium post area. Gilmore right to the hoop, front rims on it, and the Bulls come out of there with it. Track shoes on now. Woolrich quickly down the floor. In the middle. Watley's open. The Bulls are looking for each other and they're finding each other. Eight points. The Bulls lead. This is their largest in the quarter. And the Bulls are on the move. Low lob for Durfin inside. Knocked away. Steve Johnson saved to the sideline. Jordan got it. And the Bulls have the ball. He flipped it while falling out of bounds. Here's a feed towards Steve Johnson. Jordan flipped it while falling out of bounds. Involved. They thought the ball was going out. Now watch the ball. Saved by Jones. And it just sort of hangs. Gervin comes after it. But Jordan, watch him. Looks like he's out of bounds. He hangs in the air, throws it back in. Balls after the common foul that Mike Mitchell have in bounds. And Watley, low feed. Steve Johnson look out in there. Lays it up and in. Steve Johnson got loose inside. And he has a six-point first quarter. You have a good memory, Red. The job he did last yeah. year. I had forgotten that. But you're right. He was outstanding on Gilmore a year ago.
situation. Nobody was back to help out. Quinn Daly had to reach in. That was a uh, shot of Gene Banks, a forward going to the hoop, wide open, and a guard had to reach in and take the foul. So Gene Banks steps to the foul line. Not a particularly great free throw shooter, but just as I say that, he goes on the board with his first point of the game. Banks is a good scorer, especially inside. He had that one game uh, against Los Angeles. I'm sure Lakers will never forget it when he got 44 points on L.A. a couple of years ago. They used to use him coming off the bench a lot. But uh, he has earned a starting spot this year. It's the Bulls by four now. Blackley driving down the lane. He's open. Up the hoop. He was Blackley with a nice move. And Blackley's off to a good start. It's the Bulls by six. Blackley has four. German trying to move. Kicks it out. Banks in the lane.
The days are getting longer, but you don't have a second to lose because it's day and night savings time at your local Buick dealer. All week long, we're staying up late to bring you deals that will open your eyes. We've marked thousands of new Buicks throughout our inventory with special day and night savings time prices, and these markdowns are yours in addition to factory incentives. So wake up! Because it's day and night savings time at your local Buick dealer, and you can't afford to wait. Sport Mart has the low price. Low price? The low price on everything you're looking for. Like the Bravo Blade GL inline skate for rollerblade with active brake technology. Or the brand new Bravo Blade Junior, also featuring active brake technology. Sport Mart has the low price on rollerblades so often that we confidently offer you double the difference back if you find it for less somewhere else. For the last word on the low price, it's Sport Mart. You'll find what you're looking for at Sport Mart. Bill Hazen back with Johnny Kerr here courtside, and there's the story as you see it. 17 apiece with 407 left in the first quarter. And Bill would like to welcome CableNet to tonight's Sports Vision preview. To see all the action of the Hawks, Bulls, this thing called CableNet at 299-9170 during business hours for your free Sports Vision upgrade. Yeah, that's a great package I hear that Sports Vision upgrade, so investigate it. 299-9170. CableNet. Yeah. All in favor of that. Bulls will inbound it. We're tied at 17. Bulls going to break that tie. Here if they can score. Jordan, nice move to the baseline. Runs into heavy traffic. Dumps it off. Here's Woolridge driving. The head fake goes up. Got the basket. Oh, my goodness. He put that one in over heavy pressure from Artis Gilmore. That was hard work. More in the fourth court. Banks. Here's the jump shot by Mitchell. Long and hard. He's off. He's not shooting well. Matthews. After the rebound by Woolridge, look at him go! Well, he and Johnny Moore going backwards, and once, once Matthews gets you that way, he gives you a stutter step. You can't turn around. If you go left, he goes right. Yeah, he, he stutter steps, and then bang, he's gone. Then, then he's got you on your heels. Man, oh, man. Well, the Bulls, after he tied 17, they've come right back here with two quick baskets and taken a four-point lead. Here's Gilmore. Look out. He's in there deep, driving. Offensive foul! Offensive foul on Ernest Gilmore, and the ball goes over. 3.15 mark in the quarter, and the Bulls have it back with a chance to go up by six. How about that? Good job uh, by Caldwell Jones. He stepped back on ours. Looks like oh. the Spurs are getting ready to make their first substitution of the game. Big Ozell Jones is off of the bench. He's a rookie. Woolridge driving. What a ball! Wouldn't go down as he managed to avoid a block shot attempt by Gilmore. Out of bounds. And here is Ozell Jones. We just told you about him. A rookie from Cal State Fullerton who's coming in. And Gilmore is coming out of the Spurs lineup. They like this young man. 6'11", 233 from Cal State Fullerton. Bulls with the inbounds pass, and boy, the Bulls held their own on the boards against this very strong and powerful team, and there's Daly knocking in his first two. Everybody who has been on the floor for the Bulls has scored, all seven players. The stadium has picked up something here when he gets the ball and shoots it. You can hear Mark Hugh yeah. on the way to the hoop. Mitchell on the baseline. He got open in there. They finally got it to him. And Mike Mitchell was his first two, and that's a four-point Bulls lead at 23-19. In the forecourt, Michael Jordan. Banks guards him from afar. Jordan, right down the lane. <laughs> Bales out at the last minute. Daly's open, missed the shot. Rebound, Caldwell Jones, the fadeaway. Goal, he put it in. Caldwell Jones has four points. And it is the Bulls by six. Approaching the two-minute mark for the quarter. Jordan tried for the steal. Banks, down the lane, Gervin, almost stolen. Ball came loose, Bulls have it. Credit Quinton Daly with a nice steal in there. Jordan, Woolridge, driving, goes up, foul. Everybody in the stadium up to bench up and a little screaming at Blaine Reichel. Kevin Duddy had two free throws coming, but a little traveling music. Caldwell Jones, nice job. He leaves Dave Corzine in for him. All right, so Big Dave comes in off of his best performance of the year against the Indiana Pacers. He's on for the first time. Moore on the drive, and it finally goes in as it rolled around up there. Johnny Moore got a nice drive to the baseline. He has a four-point first quarter. And it's a four-point Bulls lead. We're down to a minute 40 in the first quarter. And the Bulls on the attack. Matthews, Daly up top. He's open. He'll shoot that. And Quentin Daly has four points for the quarter. And the Bulls are now up by six once again. Boy, 
boy, this has uh, been a game played at a furious pace in the first uh, 12 minutes here. Moore, Matthews won't give him any ground. Driving, kicks it out. Long one, Mitchell, foul, basket counts. Mitchell has four. Well, he's as good a forward as you'll find out. Uh, you'll find in this league scoring wise a great touch. He played for Cleveland. He was sensational. Here's the pass up. Watch him get his feet together perfectly up over his head. No catches him right in the wrist. And Orlando Woolridge with his first personal chance for a three-point play here for Banks. And if he does indeed deliver on that, it would pull San Antonio with three. Or excuse me, Mitchell. I meant Mitchell, uh, not Banks. Mitchell has four. He'll go for one more here. He does. He gets it. Five points in the quarter for Mike Mitchell. One of the real premier scoring forwards in the game. Does it all. Came out of Auburn of all places. Where he holds records down there. Yet. Not yet been broken. Corzine going up. Nice fadeaway jump shot. Dave Corzine has two. Mike Mitchell's playing Corzine. And of course Corzine played with him uh, when Corzine was in San Antonio. So big names on the board, and it's the Bulls by five again. Moore in the fourth court. They're having to work hard to get that ball in low. Moore's open. Finally knocked it down. Moore is a six-point first quarter. All of, virtually all of the scoring, or a lot of it, 16 of the 26 points that the Spurs have are from their two starting guards. They have nothing off of the bench and very little from their front court. The shot. Simple 
it off. Nothing to it, huh? That's how you can score in three seconds. Here's what's going on in the rest of the league tonight. The Washington Bullets taking on New York, Milwaukee and Atlanta, Cleveland, Houston, Denver meeting Phoenix. That's a good battle of two mountain area teams. New Jersey and the Clippers. Portland will be hosting Dallas, Seattle host Golden State tonight. So there's a big full slate of games going on in the NBA. We're starting to get a good feel for the teams that are getting out in front early. Fred Roberts now in. Out of Brigham Young. So this year, man. Yeah, indeed. Six feet 11. Capable of scoring inside. Pretty good player. Second year. Daly on the baseline. Goes up for a jump shot. Missed on the shot. Rebound comes out to the Spurs. They get tied to the basket. Ron Brewer in the lineup also for the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Paxson in the backcourt. Humphrey down low. Brewer lets go the shot. He knocks it down. Brewer's on the board with two. Oh, Cotton's got a fine shooting team. He brings this group in here. They hustle. They're big. Oh, and they, really, they look hungry, too, uh, this year. Watch well, Ozell Jones. He's a leaper. He tries to protect any mistakes that I made. These are the kids that hustle it for you. Jordan with a head fake. Down the lane he goes. Pass to Corzine. Didn't want to take the shot. Daly does. Misses on it. Mitchell with a rebound. Kicks it out quickly and backs it. Looking down the court again. Roberts out in front. They couldn't quite get the ball to him. Jump shot by Mitchell. Ooh. It's a little hurry-up offense here now. And a good job by the... Mitchell now has seven, and the Spurs have taken their first lead of the game. So they get artists out, and they get uh, Kervin out, and there's some shots for some of the other people. And it's a quick lineup. Here's Sidney Green trying to post up on Mitchell. Fakes, goes up for the high arching jumper, and puts it right in. Sidney Green, he has his first two. And a one-game visit to Kevin Lockery's doghouse after that travel incident. But he missed a plane, but now Kevin said today uh, he's out of it. He served his sentence, and that's it. Bulls have the rebound after the miss. They'll go to break the tie. Jordan. West Matthews. Covered by Paxson. Daly coming around the screen. Paxson stole the ball, trying to pass it to him. Bulls will have to get back on defense. Ozell Jones, look out. Ozell Jones gave a good stress test to that rim as he ran home his first two of the game. Set play offense. They're, they're telegraphing the ball. They know what they want to do, but they're not. They're just not making that good play. Quentin Daly with a long one. Corsi trying to tip it out. Miss the Spurs on the rebound. Leading by two. Two minutes old here in the second quarter. Paxson spinning through. Kicks it to Roberts. Long one. Brewer again. That run Brewer is a good little shooter for Arkansas. And a timeout is going to be taken to 20. 20 taken by the Chicago Bulls. Kevin Lockery wants to check something. But it does appear that the Bulls really aren't going through their plays very completely here, obviously. No, they're not. And Let's take a look at the uh, stats in the first quarter. Uh, Bulls 48%. But the free throws have kept the Spurs in the game at rebounding. The Bulls have done very well, 15-9 turnovers. And I thought all those turnovers really were the Bulls were going in the, on a fast break to the basket, though. Let's take a look at this Ozell Jones. As I mentioned, uh, he's given him a good job. He's 6'11 out of Cal State Florida. He goes in and around for his eight, up high, slams it. We'll take one more look. A good pass from Paxson. High point. Down low. Makes the move inside. Up. And he does a good job. Backing up Artis Gilmore. He was a teammate of Leon Woods at uh, Cal State Fullerton, uh, Ozell Jones, so he's from a good program. Bulls have it back. Jordan missed on the shot. The rebound comes up. San Antonio has it. The Spurs on top of the court. Jordan with a steal. Driving. Well, he missed a long one. He stole the ball went up and played slam. Thank you, man. And so now it's a two-point game again. Spurs on top. Should get his second here, and that would be the first team foul. I want to tell you something. They give it to Pat. They did give it to Mike Mitchell. I want to tell you something. It's much more fun to watch this lineup that's in there now for San Antonio. Those other players are great, but these guys. Uh, they give you a lot of hustle. Ozell Jones raises his hand, says, "I got him." Okay. That's me saying I'd rather see him play. I'm sure, Cotton would rather have his than George Kirby in there than his Gilmore. Yeah, but not if they're not playing well. Jordan back into the uh, the back line. So Matthews and Jordan are that back corner right now for the Bulls. Here's Matthews. In the lane, Ulrich driving, spun it up off the rim, go. Rebound tipped out, Jordan goes up for it, hanging in the air. We had a whistle. We had a whistle in there deep. 
Jordan apparently fouls. He was trying to swing through, and big Fred Roberts is the guy who got it. All right, what's the hang time again? You don't know if he's going to shoot, pass it off, or what? He goes up, hangs, 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 finally gets hit by Roberts, and he'll get rewarded for two at the free throw line. So Jordan will go into the foul line here, and he has eight points to the moment tonight. I suppose of all the things, and certainly one thing I've been very impressed with is his foul shooting. Came in leading the team at over 84%. And he misses him early in the first three quarters. When it comes right down the game, Bill, he is really... Really top show. Yeah, he, he doesn't miss when it counts. It just seems he has an uncanny ability there to hit him when they count. Ozell Jones on the wing. Brewer driving through the lane. Got the shot off. Jordan fouled him. Trying to deny him. Michael Jordan bumped him with a shoulder. And that's Jordan's first and the team's first in the second half. All right, driving down the middle. Uh, Jordan comes up trying to block him. He does draw the... The body foul, and if I recall, I think uh, Brewer got uh, his highs like 42 points. Yeah, you're right. Not with uh, with San Antonio, but he got 42. Yeah, he, he had 44 points in one game. You're right, right. And uh, he has reached, believe it or not, his season high with this team this year. His five, and he just went over. So he has a new season high. So Brewer's seen a lot of action early. And you're right, a couple of years ago, he had that couple of big nights back-to-back -back at 39, 42, and then 44, all in back-to-back -back games. Brewer went in a real hot streak. Oh, Jordan turned around and put it up. He almost put that in, and the ball was struck away. Corzine will rebound. No! Boy, if Jordan would have put that ball in, I think this crowd would have gone absolutely nuts on that. Roberts, the Brewer, thanks. Roberts well covered in the paint. Brewer driving. Step in there, but he traveled in the process. The ball goes over. The Spurs lead it by three. Bulls inbounds. Now they have full court pressure here. Woolrich comes up to the half court line, drops it off, and West Matthews into the forward court. Matthews does not have his pocket picked very much. Looking low for Sidney Green. They get in there. Fade away. No, this time Corsi fighting for the board. Got a tip in there. Rebound came up to San Antonio after the first tip. Yeah, well, it's a travel away. Well, Paxson this time. They gave it a little skip right out of it. This will be travel over half court, and uh, they call it. Out of bounds. The Bulls bring it across the timeline here, trailing by three. You got to break that time, because that was a wide open three on two fast break. Yeah. Five minutes old, second quarter. Sidney Green had it blocked against the board. Banks at the other end. It's a five point San Antonio lead. Banks has four on the night. This is the largest Spurs lead in the game. Ozell Jones has done a job. We talked about block shots, and we got him. He just started his kill more. But Ozell Jones doing a job. Time out on the floor. 6.56 left in the second, and there's your score. Shaq, you're unbelievable. It's Shaq like you've never seen him before. Starring his first NBA video, Shaquille O'Neal, Larger Than Life, featuring NBA action footage. Enjoy intimate commentary by the multi-talented Shaq, as well as interviews with his close friends, family, NBA coaches, and players. Also included, an exclusive music video from Shaq Food to Return. It's the perfect addition to any basketball fan collection. Shaquille O'Neal, Larger Than Life, is available wherever NBA videos are sold by 1998 for code 1-800-NBA-DUNK. Well, look who's here tonight. That's Roland Heyman on the right, Eddie Einhorn on the left, the White Sox Brain Trust. Bill, I know you'd like to join me in welcoming the viewers of Group W Cable tonight's bull yeah. game. You can take advantage of Sports Vision's new low price by calling Group W Cable 469-7557 today. Join Bill and I. You betcha. We'd love to have you with us. I'll tell you, we're going to have an awful lot of excitement for you folks watching on Group W Cable, so give that number a call. Of will with a turnaround. Yep, don't go down. And Big Dave, after a good start, has gotten a little bit cool here. Spurs by five. This is a good offensive basketball team, the San Antonio contingent, I'll tell you. They're not 62 for nothing. Brewer, what? Couldn't control it. Nine to shoot. Paxson, Fred Roberts, six to shoot. Oh, and Roberts puts it right in. Fred Roberts has his first two of the game. They got a basket out of thin air right there. They didn't have much more. But Ulrich will turn around. Pulls it on Cole. Batted around up there. Almost tipped in by Sidney Green. Long baseball pass out of the reach of uh, Johnny Moore. No way for Banks. Uh, excuse me, Brewer. He wasn't going to get to that. Two for 13 field goal percentage in the second quarter. I want to tell you something. Mr. Roosevelt Jones has had a lot to do with that. He's got a hand in everybody's face. Fred Roberts is not from uh, Sesame. Or not from <laughs> 
entire neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. He's from a very tall neighborhood. Shot caught up. It might have been deflected in there. And Ozell Jones comes out of there with it. And the Paxson. Foul. Michael Jordan. And I'll tell you, the Bulls are just getting their pockets back there. Their nose is wiped right in it here. All right, here's uh, Paxson. He comes in. Jordan goes with the body. Good move. Ducking underneath. Foul on Paxson. So Paxson gets to the line. Substitutions uh, as Paxson comes in. We'll watch him here fire up a free throw to get on the board. Right, his slot is in the game also. Sidney Green on the bench. Steve Johnson back in. And here comes Artis. He's had enough rest. He got an early call to the bench. Paxson has not missed the free throw, has he? No, he's hit. Two straight here in the season. I mean, he's yeah, two right. He's at 21 in the season. Yeah. 24 20. Remember, he came in 18 18. He's added to that. So he's done very well. Now it is a nine point Spurs lead. This is the largest lead that either team has had tonight. Bulls have gone very cold. Short driving. Yep. Illegal D. And he says, You who? Who's it on? Illegal D. Starting to go to the bench, they're putting uh, Banks, Chief Banks goes out. So now you have Ozell Jones at a forward spot to play Steve Johnson. And Gilmore back in the middle against Corzine. Here is Michael Jordan, a long one. He sticks it. Michael Jordan goes against him. That's only their third field goal. The last one he scored at the 9 14 mark. That was about four minutes ago. Bulls uh, went on dry here for a little bit. They paid the price for it against this good offensive team. Jackson down the lane. He got loose in there. Switched to his right hand and drove right down the middle. And Kevin says, come on, Dave, you got to help us out. John Paxson came in averaging 11 points. There were very high expert expectations when he came out at Notre Dame. And it's taken him a little longer to develop than his point. Oh, Rich, oh, did he take it to Ozell Jones? That's right. There was no layup. Ozell wouldn't expect that one. In your face. Spurs by seven. 7-2 Rebound comes out to the Bulls after the miss by Jones. Long pass, Jordan driving. He slams it right over the top of Ozell Jones. And they put Ozell Jones into the forward spot. Michael Jordan came down. Turned into Captain Marvel again. Watch him come down. Now watch eight slide over to your screen. He sees him up, up, up. They both go and up, powering over the top. Now he's got the jumping ability. He's got the strength. Here we get one more angle at it. A good angle. That's over a 6-11, man. Missed on the three-point play. Now it's a five-point San Antonio lead. Paxson quickly up there. This is the biggest lineup that San Antonio can feel. 7-2, 6-11, 6-11. Now we had a whistle away from the ball. As far as Ian and Gilmore got tied up. And they gave it to Big Dave. That's his first personal foul. And the third team foul on the Bulls for the quarter. They're talking about their biggest lineup. They didn't even have George Gervin in there. Now Gervin yeah. comes in. And they don't lose anything, right? No, they certainly don't. Corzine to the bench. And uh, Caldwell Jones comes back in. Here is Paxson. Feed Gervin. Look at him down the lane. Drops it off. Ozell with a slam. An easy two for Ozell Jones. You see what call him the ace man to see how easy he did that. He just drove the lane very easily. Let people duck by him. He underhanded it to Ozell and he slammed it. Easy two. Here's Jordan. Bulls trail by seven. He'll take the shot with six of the shot clock, and as Watley puts it in, he has six for the game. And the Bulls now trail by five. And what has been a very high scoring first half, and it's been one of these end to end type games. Each team has been trying to fast break on the other. Roberts on the wing. George, uh, Warwood, Warwood is covering him. Gilmore in traffic, went up for it, just powered it in there, and Caldwell Jones could not deny it. We talked about uh, the coaching staff wants to deny him of this play. Artist came across the middle, faked that hook to the left, and came back and powered, leans into the right. It's a tough thing to block. And being a left-hander, it causes all that much more difficulty because he's, you're right, he's coming back right at you. So uh, when he goes to 
goes up for that jump shot. He is right on top of you. He's so strong, he can power it over people. There's a lob. Oh, Jordan caught it. Really jammed it down home. Michael Jordan for 15. The backdoor lob, and Jordan was open. We well, need some help, though. we got to get him some help. Uh, open it up a little bit. Spurs in the front court. They lead it by six. Jackson driving. Blocked against the glass. Caldwell Jones with a nice block shot. Jones will put it down. Now takes it to Watley and the Bulls. Watley driving. Nice pass on to Steve Johnson. He wasn't anticipating it. And the Spurs come up with it on the turnover. Ozell Jones, Gervin, look out. Miss on the shot. Kept alive by Jones. And fake. He traveled. He traveled. The ball was over. Uh, I'm glad that was Ozell Jones that did that, not uh, Gervin, because Gervin would have had that <laughs> basket in and no travel call. Time on Spurs with two and a half minutes left for the quarter. It's the Spurs by six. A thousand flights coming and going every business day, fanning out nonstop to over 135 cities. Covering the sky with more flights to more cities from O'Hare than any other airline. A kaleidoscopic array that could only be brought to you by United and United Express. Come fly Chicago's hometown airline. Come fly our friendly skies. They're coming at you, you're ready, y'all. This year's lit NBA basketball. The front's boiled, stamped with six different shades. You'll be coding both sides, green and gray. Plus color and hands photo, the hearts are round. Can you dig what we're going down? Yeah. If you think inserts are cool, Jack, clear basketball's got one in every pack. Nine different sets, you love what you see. Boy, now you're talking quality. Yeah. Look up for hot packs with nothing but insert cards, homes. While the Spurs continue to hold on to a steady six-point lead here at the stadium, best ticket in town welcomes the viewers of Warner Amex to the Bulls telecast. For all this action at a new low price, call Warner Amex Cable at 577-1818 and ask for Sports Vision. Check us out. Check out that new low price. I think you'll be pleased with what you get. We have many, many events, including a number of Bulls games, the Hawks, Northwestern, offensive foul here away from the ball. Arn Watley and the Bulls to our possession. His third ball goes over. Down to 2.22 left here in the first quarter of play. See the Bulls dominated things, or at least controlled them in the first quarter. But boy, the Spurs come back with a good second quarter performance here at the stadium. Low feet, nice pass. Blocked by Jordan as Paxson tried to put it up. Jordan came across. Here are the Bulls. Counter attacking. Jordan underneath goes up for it. Foul. As he tried to put it in, Fred Roberts. Personal number two. Oh, well, he just watched a block shot. Now, here's the pass. There is Gilmore lays it up, up and uh, block shot by Jordan. And now he beats it down the court. He gets a ball that won't come up off the floor. He manages to get control of the crowd. I think it's Roberts that got up and yeah. balled up. And he missed it. And Kevin Lockery during that. What we were just showing you, he went to work on Steve Jassy's. That's your responsibility. Don't let that man cut down the middle like that. Fred Roberts on the foul. So Jordan will go to the line. Well, this game has been a, you would agree, would you not, Red? But uh, they gave a previous offensive foul to Caldwell Jones, a white one off of Watley's total. It's the one we told you was Watley's. It actually was Caldwell Jones. And Jordan misses a free throw. And that's the first time I've seen him frustrated with himself. He was kind of disappointed with himself there. Dave Corsi back into the Bulls lineup. So big Dave in there. Jordan has a 15-point first half. He's there with a 16 now for the rookie out of North Carolina. At 27 points, including the game winner against the Indiana Pacers. Down to two minutes left for the quarter. Second quarter of play from the stadium at Paxson. George Gervin, high screen from Gilmore. Looking inside for the big guy. It's way up there. Gilmore got it easy. That's why he needs a league and field goal percentage. Yeah. Pop for two. He's got a that time Jordan got rubbed off on Gilmore, and Jordan went a long way up there, but I'll tell you, when you're giving up about a foot to Gilmore, <laughs> it's pretty tough to deny him. Woolrich going to the goal, foul call as he put it down in the lane, and it's Fred Roberts again. That's his third. And with a bonus in effect, Woolrich goes to the foul line. That's a good look at Fred Roberts. He had a good summer camp, I understand, played very well uh, for this person. There's a camp program. 
Mitchell comes on for the Spurs, and Roberts goes out. Lorich is there. Five points. Below his average. Came in averaging 24-9. Steve Jackson came behind him, and Artis went to make his move. He just piled over the top of uh, Steve Jackson and picked the foul. 17 points for Jordan, and the Bulls have clawed back. They were once nine down. Now they're four down, and they could cut it down still more. They do. Jordan with an 18-point first half, and the Bulls are on the move. They pull it back to within three. We're down to a minute five. You know, the Bulls got way out in front of the first quarter, and then fell behind. Here's Gervin driving. Oh, what a move. Soft right underhand, huh? That's his first two points of the quarter, however. He is 14 for the quarter, and it's the Spurs by five with 53 seconds remaining. Second quarter play. David, Bulls are going to click off some time here. They want to get a two for one if they can. Daly goes right over to Gervin. Missed on a shot. Rebound. Comes out to Mike Mitchell. Fake the baseball pass. That's the situation. <laughs> he has a different way of jamming him every time. They're going to go for one now. Well, 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 watch him. Keep your eye on Gervin. He's nowhere yet. He's got Michael Jordan on him. They're going to post him up. That's right, dude. Jordan. See, he has both arms up in the air trying to deny him. See the time to shoot. Illegal. Illegal. Illegal defense. Warning against the Bulls. Each team now has one. <laughs> they didn't want. They did not want Gervin to get the last shot. All right, let's see what happens. I thought that was the first one too, but apparently not. I, I thought they gave the last one. Apparently they did give a ball to Chicago. And Gervin will get attacked. Oh man. You talk about a soft shot. I don't know of anybody. 22nd timeout will be taken by San Antonio. They had held on to their 20. And uh, they still have it. seconds left. Just who they would go to with a four-point lead now, and, you know, Gervin has a tremendously soft shot. I don't know if I've ever seen a softer shot than Gervin has. He just rolls it in every way. He's unreal, but I would sure keep an eye on John Paxton. He's got that long range also, so you know they'll be double-teaming George Gervin, and Gervin will give the ball back. They throw it into him. He can't get it. He'll just one-hand it back to the man. There's Johnny Moore came in the game also, so they're looking for some big shooters. They've got good shooters out there now with Ozell Jones, who uh, will, I'm sure, go right to the basket. All right. It'll be inbounded by Mitchell. Here's Moore inside three-point range. Lost it up. Nope, wouldn't go. That ends the half. And the Bulls have fought back the trail by only four after being behind by as many as nine in the second quarter. Check this out. Basketball fans, now you can subscribe to NBA Inside Stuff magazine and get six action-packed issues plus the NBA Rising Stars video, both for just $19.95. NBA Inside Stuff is jam-packed with stories, highlights, and special offers you just can't find anywhere else. And if you call right now, you also receive the NBA Rising Stars video. That's six issues of NBA Inside Stuff and the Rising Stars video, both for just $19.95. Now that's the Inside Stuff. During the Dodge National Best Buy sale, we've made Dodge Intrepid an even better buy thanks to Intrepid's biggest incentives ever. Like up to $1,897 off, including up to $1,500 cash towards your down payment. Or select 4.9 financing instead of cash savings. 
So buy now, and Dodge Intrepid, the car that changed everything, can substantially change your bottom line. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Well, the Chicago Bulls have a little work to do the second half as they currently trail by four here at the Chicago Stadium. Let's take a little look at the uh, breakdown here on the half. And I'd say the shooting tells a lot of this story. Uh, rebounds pretty close to even here, right? I'll take a look at the field goals. The Bulls did score two more. And in that free throw situation, almost perfect line, 16 out of 17 from the free throw. And the only miss by Gilmore. And that was the first free throw of the game, so they've got quite a string together. Done a very good job. Bench points also of interest. Well, you see that 16 to 8. Uh, I predicted it the other way around. Uh, I think it's really 16 to 10. Uh, Ozell Jones certainly has been a factor regardless of what he scored. Right? Daly was only 2 for 9 coming off the yeah. bench. And I did not figure on that in my calculations. I figured he'd be a little bit better than that. Well, you, <laughs> you see, you have to fine hone those, uh, those uh, calculations there, Red. And you, usually in a game, especially when he was 14 and 19 against Indiana, you'd figure that would be the case, wouldn't you? Right. Third quarter action. Now the Bulls have to start the third. They trail by four. Harris Watley. It goes to Woolridge. Takes the shot. And sticks it right away. Orlando Woolridge hits his first. Woolridge had just six points for the half. That doesn't figure into the calculations very well either. As he came in averaging 24, nearly 25 points a game. Here's German. Ice trying to back down through the lane. Look at that underhand. Oh, he's so big, he takes the ball on the way up. Just underhands it in. Beautiful. And it's the Spurs by four. Watley and uh, Jordan in the backcourt. Woolridge and Steve Johnson at the forwards. Caldwell Jones in the middle. Woolridge, covered by Banks, goes to Jordan. Got trouble controlling it. Kofi, Steve Johnson trying to move in. The fadeaway on Gilmore. Won't go down. Jordan in there. No, he lost it going up in a period. Couldn't quite control it. The baseball pass to Gurman for Banks. Driving. Basket. And a foul. <laughs> the ice man again with his 19 point. I watch it. I, I think who's that? Watley, Watley they gave it to before he got to Steve Johnson. He hesitated. So he didn't take a full board Louis to the hoop. He just hesitated, hesitated, hesitated. And then through the foul, Steve Johnson came over to help out. But didn't work out that way. Gervin now has 20. And boy, he has really cast down the gauntlet this third quarter. you got to remember, if he gives up that spot on the old pro team, uh, he may give it up to number 23 on the other team. He doesn't want to do that without a fight. He certainly does not. Watley goes right around Gervin, driving and gets the basket. Jordan couldn't get out of the way, cutting down the lane. Uh, and Mitchell that draws a foul, and they don't want Kevin doesn't want him to get in foul trouble. Michael Jordan picks up personal number three, and the Bulls have two quick team fouls here. Uh, the Bulls bench wanted that ball over the end line. They wanted a turnover. Gervin driving, missed on the scoop, and he got his own rebound. How is he getting in there so deep? He's making a penetration. He's not getting any help from the other. Spurs up on top by seven again. Steve Johnson covered by Gilmore. Woolridge driving into the paint. Takes it. Doesn't make it. Long rebound. Woolridge driving again. Last time he got it. Orlando Woolridge with him. And the Bulls realizing they're going to have to get some players going now. Gervin quickly moving and Watley with the fouls. He tried to deny him going to the basket. Trying for the steal. Watley has four. Nice and easy, does it? Reaching around and back. And Daly's going to come in now, and they will continue to go to uh, to Gervin with the ball. Whether he shoots it or passes it off, he will be handling it an awful lot. Venus Watley will uh, sit down. Daly, now you have uh, Jordan covering Gervin in the lane. Gilmore trying to move to the hoop. And boy, he just powered right in on uh, Caldwell Jones. Orlando Woolridge got the foul. From the side. That's his second, and the Bulls have four quick team fouls here, Red, and the Spurs have not committed any. That's right, just a shade under uh, 10 minutes left in this period. So Gilmore, who has eight points to the moment, I'll tell you something, these Spurs are going to hurt a lot of people. They are really strong. They, they look like
like the team of two years ago that really was on a rampage in this league. One thing that surprises me is they, they're one and two on the road. That one game they got was against New York, and it was an overtime game, and New York did not have their two centers. Yeah, that's right. That is rather surprising. Johnson, low feed, went into traffic, stolen away. The Spurs have it. Johnny Moore, bounce pass to Mitchell. Here he goes. like the old barn. But the excitement doesn't start here until the work day ends and the hard work begins. There are no laser light intros, but just as much competition. And when the sweating's done, it's time to cool down with a few beers, a few friends, and a few war stories. They might not catch the game that night, but they'll get the full story on the Sports Channel Report. Because Lincoln Park is a Sports Channel Report neighborhood. Society Golf Director. You save up to 50% off green speeds at over 1,400 courses nationwide. Call today and for just $29.95, you can take a shot at fighting cancer. I got all of that one. All right, the Bulls have the ball now as we return to play. Jordan almost lost it, tipped over the sideline, and out of bounds, San Antonio gets it right back. The Spurs have outscored the Bulls 11 to 6, beginning the third quarter here. Nine, nine to two, uh, two free throws by Ayers, nine points by Gervin. That's it, Billy. You're right. Nice and simple. They've gone to their two big gunners. Moore spinning through, too hard off the glass. Gilmore lost it. He was right there for the rebound. He just couldn't grab it. He could not grab it. And the Spurs have had their intimidators out there tonight, as you can tell from the block shot totals. One way, San Antonio.
it's a uh, half a position. They try to get the ball to Artis Gilmar now. The man, Quentin Daly, doesn't go all the way back and threaten Moore with the shot. You, you've got to either make the guy in the outside take the shot, Bill. You can't get caught in between, and uh, you do. You give Artis a three-point play. And that's just what happened. Gilmore indeed hits that three-point play, and now he is 14. And the Spurs are digging in here. They now lead it by seven. Quentin Daly. Six on Chicago, not on San Antonio, very important. Yeah, the bonus light has been on for San Antonio since 7.36. We're down to six and a half remaining here in the third. Johnny Moore. Wow, back door, back door, it's blocked! Steve Johnson blocked the shot! It's Daly! What a pass. What a block by Steve Johnson, and then what a pass by Michael Jordan to Daly. And that brings the Bulls fans to life. Time out on the floor. It's the Spurs. Michael, Michael Jordan, you are on the right path. But to find what you desire requires the great effort. I know why you have come. You wish to know the meaning of life. And? Life is a sport. Drink it up. That's what I figured. All right, let's take a look here. Here's a block, Steve Johnson, and a good block. Uh, banks up high. Steve came from nowhere to slap that ball away. Good job. Since the Bulls turned over the ball at 9.09, uh, they held San Antonio to one field goal led by Artis Gilmore on a breakaway shot. Outscored them 10 to 4, I guess, in that little streak, haven't they, Red? Yeah, you mentioned uh, we're going to see Larry Bird this week and Julius Irving, two heavyweight champs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They were in a recent slugging session. Don't forget Moses Malone in there. Mitchell, and Mike Mitchell comes back and gets a big basket for his Spurs. His first points in the third quarter is back to a five point San Antonio lead. Here come the Bulls now. Under six minutes left, third quarter. Daly. Look to Steve Johnson. It's open in there. If he can get the shot off. Nope. And the rebound came out to Gilmore. And they got locked up. Gilmore and Johnson got locked up there deep. Here's the Hosel Jones. He missed the dunk. I think Cortine may have blocked it at rim level. He just got a hand on it. I think he hit his wrist anyway. It's a travel. Signaling. All right, here's a pass underneath, and Curtis Gilmore now has 16 points. He's had a big quarter for the Spurs with seven. Boy, they're going to him, and he's scoring. Now it's the Spurs by seven again, and the Bulls need baskets. Woolridge, up high to Steve Johnson, looking low. Woolridge driving, up feeds, but the big man was there to intimidate him, and the Spurs come out with it. Feet in the traffic, a foul. Ozell Jones over the back of Let's take a look at Ozell as he gets up off the floor. We'll replay something. He goes in to take the shot. Now let's see if Corzine hits him on the wrist. I got just a piece of the ball. Hey, wait a minute. He fouled me. <laughs> Didn't look as if he touched him on that. Ozell got called for the foul on uh, Orlando Woolridge's back. Only one foul, team foul on the ball. Here is Corzine. I mean, on the uh, Spurs. Spurs. Daly manages to get it inside. Corzine with a fake lays it up. It won't go down. And grabbed Ozell Jones's jersey, held him down. Here is Moore to Gervin. Woolridge is covering Gervin now. Daly stole the ball. The Bulls. Orlando driving, lays it up. Foul. He was fouled by uh, 
uh, Johnny Moore. <laughs> I wish we had a little of that highlight on that missed shot. <laughs> All right, here it is. Uh, Q gives the ball over to Orlando. Orlando gathers it in. He wants to slam it, but he has to take it right in over Johnny Moore. All right, and uh, Johnny Moore, as you can see, notching just his first personal foul. Woolridge to the line. Has a six-point quarter, 12 for the game. Now 13. Brett, will you comment a little bit about the change in defensive attitude? Woolridge is now covering Gervin. Well, he's got to try to keep him from getting the ball. That's about all he can do. And that leaves a mismatch somewhere else on the right. floor, doesn't it? That's right, sure does. Here's Johnny Moore. They double-team him. There's Curtis just hanging around the goal. Johnny Moore goes by Daly. Feeds to Mitchell. Goes up over his man, and it goes down. Mike Mitchell was open. The Bulls trying to put extra pressure on him. Mitchell was open, and he has 11. That's what the Spurs can do to you. San Antonio by eight. Now we have a whistle of traffic here. And Ozell Jones he is, is not going to get a break tonight, Bill. No, he sure He's getting not. his jersey pulled. He's been uh, had a shot blocked around the rim. Went up and down, and now uh, Gene Banks will come off the bench and say, hey, Rook, sit down and cool it up. Here's Ronnie Lester. He's still on the injured reserve list sitting on the end of the bull bench. Quentin Daly with the inbound pass. Here's Jordan around the screen. Three-point opportunity as Moore fouled him. He got around the screen late, and... He's strong enough. Yeah. He's so strong, he held on to it because Jenny Moore had put some good pressure on him. Robertson just went over and talked to Ozell Jones and patted him on the back and said, listen, everything's going wrong. Don't worry about it. Keep in there. Things will fall right for you. Good job, I Scott. Jordan knocks in a three-point. 25 points for Michael Jordan. And uh, the out of the bounds of San Antonio. By the way, Scotty Robertson, former Bulls coach, wanted to say hello to everybody in the Chicago area. I was talking with him before the game, and he's one of the really nice people in this game. And he has so many fond memories of people around here, and he wanted to be sure to say that he inquired and wanted to pass along best wishes to everybody. Well, there's Mitchell with another one. He has 13. He's got the last three from the same spot. The Bulls better wake up. They know he can shoot from there. There's Jordan looking on the near side. They're trying to look for Steve Johnson. Johnson has a mismatch situation with Mike Mitchell. Here's Jordan. He's going to take one, and he puts it in. Jordan has 27, and he's come to life. And now it is a five-point Spurs lead. San Antonio with the ball. The Bulls are going to have to figure out something here defensively. Here's Gervin. He got loose in there. What's up? Offensive foul. Offensive foul. The ball goes over as Gervin ran into traffic. Good job. Steve Johnson has really did a good job. You know, he's playing well with that sore heel. There it is. A good move by the ace man. He crosses over on Takes it right in the ribs. But he a uh, good move on <laughs> Quentin Daly. Turned it to his right and came left. Backs it in for Gervin. Gervin will sit down, get a little pine time now. The Bulls have a chance. Tighten it up here. All right, we're down to three minutes left here in the third quarter, and Jordan brings it into the fourth court. Covered by Johnny Moore. Up top, Woolridge. Gets it looking for the screen from Corzine. Passing to Corzine. Stolen right out of his hands by Johnny Moore. Moore driving. Behind the back pass. Banks. We had something traveling ball. interested in getting his assist that time. He could have gone right up with it. He laid it off the banks over pass in the travel call. Bulls want some action here, the Bulls fans. Four is averaging over nine assists a game. And maybe some merit to your point of view on that, Red. Wants to get the stats. Uh, here's Daly in the paint. Quentin Daly now has ten. He's got to come to life. Bulls need a big game out of him. Here's Mitchell. He'll fire. Misses. Bulls can cut it to one if they score. Spurs. Red just told me to take my earphones off so I could hear this. I think you thought we went away for a break. We're going to pause. We will take that break. No, no, here it is. All right. There's the slam on the break. Listen to this crowd. They're on their feet. It was a 20-second timeout. They took. Listen to this crowd.
it, Michael Jordan, get him going. I haven't heard anything. This is a great place to play basketball. The Chicago Stadium been around a long, long time. Everybody on their feet here. And Captain Marvel comes back again. Running down, watch, he's got Ernest McGilmore on the back pedal. Up, 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 and away. He just went blue right by Gilmore, left him in the dust. Low feet to Ernest. 12 seconds to shoot, they double team it. Look at the Bulls working defensively. Corzine won't give him any room. Traveling. Corzine did not give him any room on the baseline. He shot him off ball. Remember this, viewers, as you're going down a stretch, you have not seen the Bulls lose on sports vision this year. Ah, this season or regular season. That's right. And there's the story on turnovers, and now the Bulls trying to drive, and uh, as Daly was going to the hoop, he got hacked. That should put the bonus light on. It was Paxson. Who gets it? This is his second. Michael Jordan gets a little break here. He needs it. Boy, they give it some. Listen to this. And Wes Matthews come in as his replacement. There's Michael Jordan sitting down. The Bulls finally go to the bonus. At 154, San Antonio had the bonus for almost six minutes longer than the Bulls, and yet the Bulls are in a situation where they come back and now tie this game. All right, George Gervin comes in now for Johnny Moore, I believe, and you're going to see Gervin with the ball. They're going to try to open this back up, but Q was able to tie it. He's got to get the hot hand to go to him a little bit again, as I mentioned. Daly with one more. He puts it right down. He has 12 points. Eight of those in this quarter. in this game. Paxson to Gervin. Bulls buzzing around like bees, and Paxson sticks a long one. John Paxson breaks the tie. He has six. Down to a minute 35. And Porter and the Spurs by a point. Matthews. Feed. Daly driving through. Lofting a shot up. No! Johnson with a rebound! Steve Johnson with a rebound, and it counts! Jake O'Donnell, you saw him swinging. Yes, yes, yes. He took it from away from the rim and slammed it down hole. So if there's any doubt about offensive goaltending, Jake O'Donnell will wave that right off. Minute 10 remaining. Bulls by a point. Mike Mitchell, double team. Look at the pressure the Bulls are putting on. Action's open. Now low Banks going in. Nice swing and hook shot. Baskets is starting to come a little harder now for San Antonio. Sure. It's the Bulls trailing by a point. Matthews within 53 seconds left. How much time will they kill here? 16 on the shot clock. And they go for a two for one. Daly. Matthews is open. A long one. Nope. Banks with a rebound. And the Spurs could go up by three if they score. Maxson. Feed low. Look out. Gervin in there. Whistle. No shot. Orlando followed him down the lane. Boy, you can't let him get anywhere near that painted area. You try to keep away from that. That's third on Orlando Woolridge, and Gervin will go to the line and just up this very quickly. And we're going to get Artis Gilmore out now for this 35 second. A lot of jockeying going on by the two coaches and trying to get their players that little extra rest. But I'm sure Kevin Mockery said, please try to hold it close. We get Mike to a little rest. Yeah. You know, something that may hurt the Spurs tonight is that they're playing without Edgar Jones. He didn't make the trip, so they're a little short on the bench, right? You know, and this is also the first of, of uh, four games and five nights for this ball club, and I'm sure Scotty, or, uh, uh, Cotton Vincennes uh, would like to rest his troops, too. Yeah, burn them out in that first half yeah. out the gate. Yeah, you're right. Down to 30 seconds remaining in the half, or in the third quarter here as the Spurs by three. Corzine in there. McNamara hit the ball, knocked it out of bounds. 13 to shoot, 23 on the game clock. Now we have substitutes of Sidney Green in the Bulls lineup. Gervin did what they wanted, gave him a couple points. He goes and sits down and grabs a little extra time for a rest. Sidney Green replaces Steve Johnson in the Bulls lineup. Orridge inbound. Daly can cut it to one. He does. Quick Daly hits him from all over. And he is an eight-point third quarter. Bulls. Trailing by a point to San Antonio, and the Spurs are holding for the final yeah, shot. Gotta go to Mitchell. Mitchell's their shooter out here now. Nine seconds. Paxson with five seconds. Paxson in the lane with three seconds. Laid it off to McNamara, and he gets the hoop. McNamara with his first two, and with two seconds left, the Bulls. The clock is stopped. The Bulls will inbound. Goes to Sidney Green. A three pointer block. Block by Banks, and with that, the third quarter comes to an end, and the Spurs on a three point lead. Going into the final stanza.
McDonald's presents the NBA Looney Tunes All-Star Showdown. I thought I thought pretty tear. Birdies. To all these tiny special sauce, oh my! It's not basketball season, it's duck season. Give me that ball. Something real familiar about that bunny. Who do you think you are? Let me show you. Bickle, you must understand the IRS's position. You made a shot half court at a basketball game. You received a million dollars. You didn't pay any taxes to the IRS. That's called a felony, Mr. Bickle. You ever been to prison? No, I oh, it's a dark, nasty place. Yes, sir, well, maybe you can stay out of prison. One more shot. Double or nothing with the IRS. Oh, what's wrong? You the man, Mr. Bickle. Rick. celebrities in the stands here tonight, Red, among them, Mark Roth is one of the top PBA bowlers as a friend here tonight. The Brunswick Memorial World Open going on right now at the Brunswick Northern Bowl in Glendale Heights. And Mark Roth currently in third. That's a $150,000 tournament. So we welcome Mark. Here's a drive inside. Tipped away. Paxson Mitchell came up with it. Misses on the shot. Tipped against the board. Thanks for the rebound. Kicked out front of Paxson. Good job of rebounding that time by the San Antonio. Nice cut by Paxson. Good play by Banks. Top of the key, the big veteran went outside and looked for somebody to hit in the back door pass to the Johnny Paxson. Now it's five lead for the San Antonio Spurs. We're in the first minute of play, fourth quarter. Cindy Green hands it to West Matthews. The Bulls are on the offense. They have 10 seconds to shoot. Here's Woolridge driving the baseline. Goes up in the air. Was blocked by Banks. Foul, Banks. Second personal foul, oh, first personal foul, I have it. Or is it number two? Number two, yeah. Okay, and first team foul on the Spurs in the fourth quarter. Woolridge gets to the line. He has 13 on the night. Spurs have really helped themselves from the foul line, and the Bulls are going to need a good quarter from the foul line to stay right in there. During that first half, there was 16 out of 17. Yeah. The opening free throw missed by Gilmore, and the rush. Woolridge now has 15. And the Bulls pull it back within three again. Here's Paxson. Bulls could use some turnovers if they can force them here. Paxson with West Matthews on him. Got a mismatch here somewhere. Bulls trying to cover defensively. Corzine got well out of position. Now here's a jump shot. Missing the mark. Ball tipped over the sideline. Out of bounds. Who ball? San Antonio. So get another shot. It's two in a row now that the Bulls have given up. The shot has been missed. And... Uh... San Antonio came up with the rebound the first time by Banks. That time was tipped out of bounds by the Bulls. You've got to come up with those. Paxson with the inbounds pass. Will Jordan in the game again? Yeah, Jordan just checking. Here's Ron Brewer firing, misfiring. City Green throws the rebound for Chicago. Off left it to West Matthews down the lane. Offensive foul Matthews as he ran into Paxson. West Matthews with his first personal foul of the game. Here he comes. A good move by John Paxson. He gave it the O, but he was there enough time to cause that turnover. And Wes Matthews runs to the bench. Mo Watley back in the game. So the Bulls now getting their starters slowly but surely back in here. Went Daly Stone lineup for the Bulls. Sidney Green still in and Corzine. Here is Mitchell around the screen. Fires over Corzine. No. Rebound back to Mara in their deep. Corzine went out on Mitchell. Got a good hand up, but Sidney Green was late. And you're going to see, if you're paying for that mistake, we'll see uh, Steve Johnson come back in for Sidney Green. And Caldwell Jones up off of the bench. He'll come on for Corzine. Bulls have to go to the first unit here. Here's Jordan firing a long one. Dumps it right in. Michael Jordan with 31. And the Bulls pull back to a three-point deficit here. Paxson in the fourth court. Spurs with mostly a second unit on the floor. At least they're playing without Gervin and Gilmore right now. They can bring them back when they need them. Brewer, Fed to Mitchell. He's double-teamed. Six to shoot. Mitchell traveling. The Bulls get it back. Well, you called for a turnover, Bill. You got it. That's what they're going to need to get them back in it. And here's the story on the, how that third quarter broke down. Look at the field goal percentages. They were high. And the rebounding San Antonio dug in to get a couple of edge. Just a very quick shooting game all the way across. 
Dana Heist. Back to Murphy. Danny's open. Perfect feed for Enos Watley. And Quinn and Daly is 16, and the Bulls have come roaring back without a point. Accident in the fourth court. Up off the bench comes the ice man. He's ready to step back in. Accident covered by Watley. He almost traveled, but he got the face. I thought he might have. Shuffle stepped there a little bit. He seemed to slip. Axton could run his ball club. He is a smart, good guard. Oh, and Jordan goes right by Banks like he was standing still. Michael Jordan with a total of 33 points here and a need a big night out of him. His career best is 37 in a Bulls uniform. Oh, he just missed the steal. Axton. Low feed to Mitchell. Goes up for a shot block. Jordan. Oh! Well, nobody likes it here, but Jordan went up and tied. Gently's taking it with his left hand. Watch it. It's too dramatic a shot here. It goes up in the air. They gave it to Johnson. Well, okay. Uh, Steve Johnson picked up his fourth. But Jordan, we could see where we're sitting. We could see Jordan come in from the back very clearly. You'd like to see him sort of go up and just pick that ball out of his hand. Grab it. I don't like to see him lose Steve Johnson. Uh, no, I would, not. I would hope that the Bulls would be very close to doing something with uh, David Greenwood. They need that stability of the veteran in the lineup, and they miss him. The Bulls have done a sensational job without him of patching up and, uh, and picking each other up. Mitchell on the line. He hits it. He has 14 points now on the ninth. That's the story. Boy, what an offensive player this guy was. And certainly he was never better than against the Bulls. He really hurt the Bulls last year. Came into his own with a very poor team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah. And was a standout. With a missed the shot, and the Bulls have a rebound. They can tie with a basket. Here they come. Three and a half minutes old in the fourth quarter. Enos Watley covered by Gervin. Drives around him all the way. Enos Watley has ten. Now there's good balance, Bill. We've got Q on a backdoor layup, Watley down the middle, Jordan over the top. So everybody helping out. The big man Gilmore is back in there. Gervin's back in. Got to help down low. They got Gilmore. Moore, Gervin. Oh, well, Jones trying to deny him. They get it in to Gilmore. Four to shoot. Three to shoot. Gilmore tips it off. Mitchell fires. Just beat the buzzer. Mike Mitchell just beat the buzzer. He has 16. And it's the Spurs by two. Here's Jordan. What a move to the baseline. He drives in. Passes off. Jones. Yes. Oh, well, Jones has six. And the Bulls have tied it. Boy, these fans are getting revved up now. Seven and a half minutes left in regulation. Uh, watch the ice man down low. Here's Watley driving in, and he's held. Gervin held him. George Gervin will pick up the foul on timeout. Will be called by the Chicago Bulls with 6:58 left, and it's the Spurs by two. see a show years ago, you got a show. Everybody that somebody started from the Apollo Diego. James Brown. Elvis Gell. Elvis Holiday. Jackie Wilson, absolutely. It's the best to be. If you missed them at the Apollo, find them at Best Buy, where most CDs are $11.99 or less and thousands under $10. Some places are known for great music. In our time, this week the fascinating story of Volkswagen from the early lovable bugs to today's high-tech concept cars that evoke the spirit of the Beatle. From travail to triumph, from putt-putts to prototypes, from sedans to sports cars, Volkswagen Reborn. Worth watching on In Our Time. Watch the Volkswagen story on Cable Channel 29, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8.30 p.m. and Wednesday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. Check your local listings for dates. Right now by a two-point score. That's it. Time remaining. We have virtually a dead-even game here as the Bulls have come back twice from nine-point deficits against this very, very tough San Antonio team. 
Bill Hazen back with Johnny Kerr here courtside. And boy, this is the action capital of the great Midwest right now, I'll tell you. The Madhouse on Madison Avenue. <laughs> it's been fun. It has, hasn't it been? Yeah, this is, you know, this is the type of game the Bulls, even though the Spurs, I think, are playing very well. The Bulls still have a chance to win it. A very good chance. I thought they could have folded a couple times here. Big streaks hit him on San Antonio, but Mo Watley now uh, drew the foul on George Gervin. He's got a chance to tie it up here with a pair of free throws. All right, Watley puts that first one in. If he hits another one, he has a new season high. He has 11 for the night. This ties his season high. He does it. He does Watley with a dozen points, and almost all of them coming from the field. So he's hit some big jumpers. Now the score even at 100. And more. Here's Gervin. Look out. Puts it up. Bobo Jones partially blocked the shot, I think. And the Bulls come flying out of there with it. Bobo Jones just tipped it. Oh, Woolridge with a great move to keep it alive. Jordan. Oh, the rebound. Bobo Jones foul underneath. Gilmore, I think, trying to keep him from putting it up. It is Gilmore. His fourth. And it's the open shot missed by Michael. And a try for a left-handed stuff by Caldwell Jones, and it was an off-ball foul, non-shooting foul by Artis. Loose ball, they roll, and so come. See him coming out here, trotting out, the two men trotting out. That means you can open it up to go in two-on-two -two basketball. Jordan gets the screen from Caldwell Jones. Got caught in there. Whoa, what happened? Had to jump it up. He had it. <laughs> uh, George Gervin was probably wondering, hey, what are you guys doing around knee level here? Is Fred Roberts dug in there, and uh, Jordan dug in there. This will be a six He's, inch, a, he's huh? a small 6'11 guy, you'll see. Doesn't he, doesn't he look small, Fred Ross? Yeah, he does. Let's see who gets a tip here. Jordan jumping with him. 6'6", six, six, Jordan, 6'11", six, Roberts. Jordan can go up and get these. We'll see. Up in the air, Jordan actually got higher. The tip was won by Roberts, and he controlled it in the circle. More. Spinning. Kervin. Gets it. And Steve Johnson got pulled. And jumped on top of Steve Jensen's head. 28 points for Gervin. And it's a 102-100 Spurs lead. The Bulls have not been able to get over the hump. They've clawed all the way back to tie it. They've been able to take the lead. Woolridge to Watley. Bulls playing for the tie again. Jordan, he'll take a long one. Michael Jordan with 35. He's within two of his career high. In a Bulls uniform. He'll be breaking that all year, I'm sure. Yeah, he sure will. Gervin kicks it out to Moore, the head fake. High score at one to two. Whistle. Three, three seconds. Oh, the ball's going to break. Oh, there's a stranger we haven't heard the whole game. Yeah, you're right. And that has to be sweet music to the Bulls fans here at the stadium to hear it. The Bulls will inbound. Now, they have Steve Johnson and Warridge and Cobalt Jones up front. Jordan and Quinn Daly has just come back in for Ines Watley. Orange out front. Full score, they take the lead. Jerk, he'll go for it. He's tied a season high, and the Bulls have taken the lead. The first time they've led in a long, long time. And a timeout taken by the San Antonio Spurs, and the fans come to their feet for a standing ovation with 519 left. Yes, sir. There's some of the Bulls fans. Hey, when I was coming up, I walked 15 miles in the snow every day to practice. There were no locker rooms. The boss had laces, and the shoes were made of canvas. What's canvas? And there were no foot lockers. No foot no lockers. No foot lockers. So foot locker. Whoa! You guys had it rough. Nobody's got more basketball shoes and more experience selling basketball shoes than Foot Locker, where it all begins. You got the commercials, right? Oh, oh, yeah. no, he... The Chicago Bulls have come from a long way back. They trail by nine twice in this game. They've come back red, and with time remaining as you see it, Chicago's back on top again. 
And Johnny Kerr just got one of those small basketballs and flipped it into the stand. Good hook shot, right? Like the ones you used to make when you were playing in the league. It's real air, but uh, you got to remember now, Michael Jordan giving a two-point lead. Uh, he's tied it up. He's got eight out of, out of the 16 points in the fourth quarter. The Bulls scored 519 to go. Your first place, Chicago Bulls. Yeah. All right ahead. These two teams have both surprised people in their division. I'll tell you, I think both of them are going to hurt a lot of people in this league. Bulls, if they win, will go 7-2. Whichever team wins this game will go 7-2, as a matter of fact, because the Spurs came in with an identical record. Here comes San Antonio, and they trail. This is as tough a team as they'll play. they got three games at home that are very, very tough. Here's Ozell Jones to Mike Mitchell. Mitchell's covered by, uh, uh, by uh, Jordan. Now Moore with a long one and ties it. Johnny Moore hits. He has 10 in double figures, and the Bulls come back with a 104-104 ball game. Five minutes left. Orlando Woolridge, feed to Jordan. Oh, what a move he just put on. Oh, what a move. 39 automatic. 39 points. Jordan has 10 for the quarter. There's more. And the Spurs trail by two to the Bulls. And the Spurs know they're going to him every time. Michael Jordan down low on the ice man. Watch him. Trying to keep the ball away. They did so. They went the other side. Mitchell off the glass and ties it again. He has 18 for the game. And now, I feel like you know who they're going to, don't you? Yeah. Oh, no doubt. Here's Daly. Low lock, backdoor play, Steve Johnson. No! On his own rebound, he was fouled in there. Ozell Jones and Artis Gilmore. It was on Ozell Jones. So over the top, you want to see Steve get it, come down and lay it up, and he gets whacked. Uh, I thought he was shooting the ball. They're not going to give him the... Not what was he doing? Off. So the bonus in effect, as you say, Red, that's very important. Woolridge has 15 points on the night. Ooh, he misses a big one there. He'll have one more. Orlando's had a good game. Jordan with 39 here tonight. He got that second one. The Bulls take a one-point lead. Spurs, more. They have a whistle away from the ball. Let's see. Mitchell is trying to break free. They gave the foul to Steve Johnson. Here's the story on Jordan. That looks like a football game. Yeah, they six in the first, 14. They missed a the free throw. They got a safety and field goal and a touchdown so far here. <laughs> yeah. Steve Johnson picked up his fifth personal foul, according to my records. Here's uh, Mitchell driving in, and he got the hoop, and he puts the Spurs back on top. I said uh, before, he's one of the best offensive forwards around, and boy, is he starting to prove it now. Oh, I'll tell you, he is 20, and he's not afraid to put it up. He has no fear. Daly, high arching jumper. Won't go down, and Moore, the smallest man on the floor, got the rebound. Here's Gervin, picks it across. Johnny Moore fires and hits. Johnny Moore wide open with a dozen, and the Bulls now find themselves three points down. Come into the far court. Jordan will bring it across. Johnny Moore will try to stop him. Now he double team. Kick it over. Daly penetrating. Off of the glass. No. Warridge with a rebound. Goes up and gets the slam. Big basket for Orlando Warridge. He is 18. And with three minutes left, the Spurs by a point. Nail biter here again in the stadium. I'll say, listen to these fans. Oh, I tell you, I can't wait to hear what it's like with 17,000 in here. George Gervin in the paint, kicks it out. Moore is open. Missed the shot. Push off on Banks. I think a push off on Banks. Or is it? Well, it looked like they're going to give it to Steve Jansen. I think. Oh, well, Jones they gave it to. How about that? Out here right in front of us, Bill, was Jake O'Donnell. He said, stay right there. I thought Banks had a little bit of a shove. They give him the ball back, and that's what you want him to do. Dive by the sword, that outside shot. Moore missed it. Him, they got their... Well, well, Jones has five personal fouls here, Red. He and Steve Johnson both playing with five, and you bet they'll try to feed it in here. It's lost out of bounds. Jordan lost the ball. Big, big play for Orlando Woolrich. You watch him come down the floor. He put the big defense on Gervin. It's forced the turnover. Put his hand right in there. The Bulls can take the lead if they score. Win a daily. It goes to Woolrich. They have Jordan posted down on the baseline with more. Now he pops out. Two minutes left of the game. Feed the banks. Comes 
Sorna on board, missed the last one, and there's a miss there. Balls across the timeline, timeout, timeout. Uh, Jordan with the sound we had in here did not hear it. The Bulls have called time. Bulls taking a timeout. There's a look at Michael Jordan. As you see, he's gone over a season high with 37. There's the score on the board. Man, what a game we've had tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, a special Chicago welcome for the Golden Jet, Bobby Hall. for me to be, first of all, here in the greatest city in the world, and uh, for the 15 years that I played here, to play in front of the greatest sports fans in all the world. Uh, we're, my wife Deborah and I are back in Chicago now, and look forward to uh, being part of the Chicago scene. I uh, must congratulate Bill Barry and his group for such a wonderful evening tonight and for such a wonderful and worthwhile cause. I'm always going to be a part of Chicago and anytime I can help out those less fortunate, I'm here for that cause. Thank you very, very much. Sports Channel, what fans want. Michael Jordan was 41 kinds of points. I was just looking here at my score sheet. He had 20 in the first half. He's got 41 in the game. He's been to the line once in the second half. Yeah, He's got 10 right. field goals and one free throw here in the second half. Well, I'm he is going to. I'd say he's brought his place to their feet. Excitement here that uh, we haven't seen to, uh, since the 70s. In case you're curious, the individual's regular season's game scoring record for the Bulls was held by Chet Walker, who had 56 points in a game against the old Cincinnati Royals in Chicago in 1972, in February of 1972. And uh, I guarantee you that Chet, knowing him and his moves, I bet he was in a free throw line about 18 times that quarter. <laughs> That's Scott Simmons of the Spurs. That's the scoring by quarters. Look at how the Bulls have come on. They won that third quarter by a point. They have done a great job. Boy, are they hustling in this fourth quarter. And I'll tell you, now they've kind of pinned, they've taken it to the Spurs. They've pinned them back a little bit. The Spurs are going to have to be really careful that this could get away from them. Jordan's got 10 points in the last minute and 40 seconds in this wow. quarter. Wow. 10 points at a minute 40. Bulls with the inbounds pass. 12 seconds to shoot. Here's Quentin Daly. Will he try to take it? Woolridge comes up front. Seven seconds. Woolridge driving. Pulls up and takes it and hits it. Orlando Woolridge with 20 points. And the Bulls with a three-point lead. A minute 34 remaining in the San Antonio Spurs. will call time out here. And these fans have come to their feet. Many of them giving the Bulls a standing ovation. And it was a surprise. They went to Orlando Woolridge, but that's what the Spurs have been doing. They're mixing it up. They go to Mike Mitchell, they go to Moore, they go to Gervin, they go to Ernest Gilmore. Everything has been concentrated now on uh, uh, that rookie. Uh, what's his name? Captain Marvel? We yeah, something like Captain Jordan. Jordan, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Let's take a look at the remaining timeouts. Chicago, that plus, by the way, on the right of the screen means 20 seconds. That's a 20 second, or what used to be the old injury timeout, but they just made it a standard 20 second timeout. Each team has two remaining. Well, now it's 134 to go in the game, and the last score that the uh, Spurs had was at the 320 mark. So let's see if we can hear what Cotton's saying there. I don't know if we can lean in or not. Let's try to. so loud, I don't think we're going to catch well, too much. We're not tonight. trying, we're not trying to, to help the Bulls in any one situation. We just are trying to let our viewers in uh, Sports Vision yeah. at home see what's going on. But let's take a look at that scoreboard. It looks mighty nice at this stage. Bulls with a three-point lead. Well, the Bulls have won three straight. Here's Kevin Lockery, the coach of the Chicago Bulls, and I'm sure what he is saying is put as much pressure on the ball as you can. Look at that fist he gave to the players right there. He said, all right, put pressure on them. Don't give up anything easy. Make them work. I'll tell you, Red, if San Antonio, they had two shots just inside the 24-second margin. You take away those two baskets, and Chicago has this game almost wrapped up in a minute 30. I hate to mention this right now, but George Gervin has only two points in his quarter. And now, Orlando Woolridge acting like Sarge Matthews of the Cubs, rallying the fans around him. He said this could be our sixth man. And I haven't heard 
so much screaming and fun here uh, at the stadium. Beautiful place to play basketball. Oh, I'll say it is, and these fans, I'll tell you, the noise really echoes in here. It can get downright deafening. Fans came to their feet and gave the Bulls a standing ovation, as you saw. Spurs taken inbounds at the half-court line. Bulls still got one foul to take in the last two minutes. Very important. Pass to Gilmore. Under pressure. Down goes Moore. Gilmore, he'll take the shot. That's not the one he wants to shoot. The rebound of the Bulls have it. Jordan. Michael Jordan got the rebound. Quentin Daly will bring it across. Now will the Bulls try to kill some time? We have a minute 10 left and 14 to shoot. We're looking for Michael. But the Bulls hit one here. It really counts big. Jordan lost it going up. Moore with a steal. Ahead the banks. It was hit. It was kicked by Quentin Daly. Out of bounds to San Antonio. Boy, Moore made, it, made the pass. It went off a Q's leg. That time, good play by Johnny Moore. Jordan was going up for the shot, and he was able to catch it out of his hand. A minute and one to go. Bulls still 61 seconds. Bulls still by three. They got a foul to take. Remember that, Bill? Yeah, that's right. They have one left. Not in the action of shooting. All right, they're going to open it up here. Jake O'Donnell said, let's open it up a little bit. Uh, Grant Fitzsimmons went to the half-court line to check something. He chased him back. He wants a full uh, reset of the clock. He gets 22 seconds on it. Spurs have been turning it over. Bulls just added to their total with that most recent turnover by Jordan. Mitchell, they just get it in and beat the five-second count. Gilmore for the hook. He missed it. Went for the rebound. Banks missed it. Well, there you go. They got it in there deep. There was nobody there. And then Jordan. 
Short drop back, tried to spot the ball away, and he went right over the top of Gilmore. Now, Gervin comes out for a second. They're bringing Roberts in now. They're trying to put some extra pressure on. Not Fred Ross Robertson. That's the rookie now. Yeah, 21, Andre Robertson. Elvin Robertson on uh, the Olympic team. Oh, and Gilmore rolled up a big free throw right there. He is 19. Three-point play, both by two, 45 seconds left. Here's the pressure. Jordan brings it across, dribbling. Ends it to Daly. Quentin Daly, pressure's on him. Moore tries for the steal. Daly in the paint, he'll go for it. He got it! He got it! Quentin Daly with 18 points. And the Bulls again with a four-point lead. 28 seconds left. San Antonio needs a basket in a hurry. Mitchell driving. No, in the corner. Whistle, foul. I think Banks is going to go to the line, though. Got the rebound. It's on him. He gave a little shove. Shot missed outside. You know, I think Mitchell wanted to be out at the three-point area when he took that, but he was inside it for two. He missed the shot. Orlando Woolridge on the rebound. Now let's watch him playing on the free throw line for some missed shots. Banks will have two. Well, Gervin is not in the lineup right now. Did he just check back in? No, he's got to save him. All right, now he made this one. Follow the Bulls. The Bulls can't hold it for 21 seconds. They can run this out. Yeah, they can conceivably hold it the rest of the way. The shot clock has been turned off. Banks, he missed! Gilmore lost the rebound out of bounds. The Bulls have it! The Bulls have it! Get the ball in quick. Never mind the timeout. Get it in quick. Oh, they're going to take the timeout. Oh, they had, they had the Spurs backpedaling and uh, not really in position. You wanted to get the ball in now. They're going to talk it over with Scotty Robertson. I know, I know Kevin wants this game severely. Oh, okay? He wants to make sure that we get it, and he's okay. I want to know, we got any timeouts left? Anything going on? He has one left. All right, they want to get the ball in. As soon as it comes in, you can flat guarantee there's going to be somebody jumping all over the game with the ball to follow. Well, right now, Red, you look at the scoreboard being what it is. Where would you take the ball out? Well, you that. they're going to take it out here. Uh, half court, then. Yeah, they'll take it out at half court. All right, then, uh, I guarantee you the pressure will be on. It's going to be, <laughs> Bulls have to work extra hard to make sure they can get that ball inbounds. The first thing will be able to diagram a play just to get the ball inbounds. Uh, when we left you last in Detroit, the Bulls were having a similar yeah. situation. Indeed, and they did manage to get it in. It's the Bulls by three. There are 19 seconds left. The Bulls have, there's enough time now for the Bulls since the shot clock has been turned out. In theory, the Bulls can hold it the rest of the way, possession-wise. They're not going to give a chance to do that, Bill. I cannot believe that they will not pounce on whoever has the ball when it comes inbound. They have to foul. They have to foul, and uh, you'd like to see Daly be the receiver of it, or uh, Jordan. Michael Jordan. Other good free throws, Caldwell Jones, who is hit 10 of 13 on the air. He's shooting very well. Uh, you he don't want taking a shot for yeah. a while, so it's a tough situation. He is a good free throw shooter. You don't want Steve Johnson on the line. You don't want Woolridge on the line particularly, although he's been shooting he's been up and down tonight. He's not been shooting that well. Uh, so Daly, he's your main man at the foul line. And uh, let's see, Caldwell Jones now coming out. So my guess is you try to foul Steve Johnson if you're looking from San Antonio's perspective. You're going to go after Steve Johnson or perhaps Woolridge here. The Bulls. I think they've got a 20 second timeout if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Bulls have a 20 left. And Orlando Woolridge will put it in bounds right in front of our broadcast position here in center court. Bulls we'll take the ball. Bulls by three, 19 seconds remaining. There's the clock inserted in your screen. Woolridge, 20 seconds. There's the timeout. Bulls take a 20. Looked like Quentin Daly broke it loose there for a moment right in front of us, but Orlando did not pass him the ball. I'll tell you something. There goes the 20 second timeout. They're going to go back. I don't know what he can change now. Maybe they wanted to see where they lined up. I would think that you'd want to come back with that picket line again, Bill. Remember that? Yeah, they were yeah. successful with that up in the, in Detroit. Yeah, the Congo line, the stack. Yeah, they, they put four right across uh, about five or ten feet in from the center line. That's almost impossible to defend, right? There's John Cutler. Rod Thorne, Jonathan Cutler sitting there. And uh, Rod can't watch it. He is nervous, Nelly. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you, he'd be a lot more nervous than we were tied. One more bite in his nails will be hitting his watch. <laughs> There we go. That's, that's the line. That's the picket line. All right. The Bulls get it inbounds to Jordan. Trying for a steal. Uh, Robertson, and he drew the foul. Robertson gets his first. Now you need George Gervin back in. Oh, here he comes now. Okay, yeah. Artis comes back in. He took him out. 
tuning now their offensive and defensive units. That's right. They took uh, Mitchell, there is Gilmore out in Gurman in. They needed some defensive, very quick players. Scotty doesn't have any, I mean, uh, Scotty, I want to call him, he's been there in the bench. Yeah, yeah. But Todd and Fitzsimmons, does he have it? I think he's got a timeout left. I think he's got one. Yes, he does. According to Mike Charlie, he has one left. Jordan at the line. Boy, you like this guy when the pressure's on. He just doesn't miss. 44 points for Jordan. I believe that is the top performance in the league this year. If it isn't, it's right near it. Jordan, 45. There's a miss, but it's time. 45 points. I believe that is the best performance in the league this year by an NBA player. Moore, looking, kicks it to Mitchell. He's going to take a three-pointer, long one. He hit it! Mike Mitchell fires in a home run ball. He has 23. Six seconds left. The Bulls lead it by two. In the backcourt, Jordan, the Cobo Jones, one second five. This game is not over. One second. And this game is not over. Well, you know what you can do very easily end it, don't you? He's going to have two free throws here. He'll shoot the first one and miss the second one. As soon as somebody touches it, zoom, it's over, and you're 9,000 feet from the other basket. Yeah, big, big three-pointer by Mitchell. So uh, we'll see who goes to the line here after the foul. Was well, it's going to be Colwell Jones. Yeah, that's Colwell right. Colwell Jones steps to the line. I would say give it a shot, make your first one, and I don't care what you do, but just at least hit the rim. Yeah. If, if he's got to, if he's going to miss it, he's got to hit the rim. So Colwell Jones has a chance to ice this game away. The Bulls, if they win, will be 7-2 on the year. Well, we talked yes. about Colwell Jones, a good free throw shooter, getting up there, and he has not shot for a long, long time. Everybody on their feet, including the Spurs and the Bulls. All right, right there. That's, that's it. it. Good night. All right, now he can miss it if he wants to, and I will forgive him for missing a free throw tonight. <laughs> if he drills this one, then I was sick. The Spurs will take a time on here. He missed it. That's it's it. Over. It's over. That is it. The Bulls right. came off the rebound. Didn't matter. The Bulls have won the ball game, by golly. They've defeated the San Antonio Spurs. A magnificent comeback effort by a final score of 120 to 117.